Hello to all of you, a very good morning to all my lovely and awesome friends. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, today morning I saw a message that I got th three new subscribers and some messages also that I'm doing a very good job. Thank you very much. Uh, I learn uh, a lot from these videos and I try to teach as many people as I can. So that's why I, I tell you guys to share this with these videos so that it can benefit most of the people. So without wasting any time, I have 10 words for today which would be very important for you all if you are preparing for any exam. So let's get started. <coughs> the first word as you can see is uh, striving. It's a very common word. People use it in their daily uh, communications. So it means make great effort to achieve or obtain something. So if you are preparing for any government exam or if you are uh, preparing for any um, entrance exam also, if you are, if whenever you do some work, you should always work hard to achieve success in that. So uh, you can use the, this word there. Striving obviously means when you put your hundred percent to achieve your target. So it's a very good word. You can use it use it in your daily communications. It, the synonyms would be uh, effort, exertion, endeavor, drudge, labor, moil. For Hindi guys, yas karna, sanghar karna. Okay, puri mehnat karna, apne apne goals ko achieve karne ke liye. So you can use this word, striving for that. Antonyms would be a daily, daily, reposed, indolent, lethargic, sluggish. Okay, so you have a person who wants to do his work, but he is very lazy, and he doesn't put any effort, so this will be the opposite. Okay, so lethargic means obviously, lethargic is a very good word here. So it means when you are working as a, as a lazy person. Okay, uh, for example, the overweight woman was striving so hard to lose weight that she over exerted herself and ended up in the hosp uh, hospital <coughs> okay so there was a uh, there was a woman who was uh, overweight so she was she was striving so to get to lose weight but usne uh, bahut exercise kar li so eventually she ended up in the hospital so that exercise can is not so that beneficial for the health okay next word is topple topple means to fall or cause to fall from an upright position so yesterday i told you a word uh, similar to this word was a uh, falter okay uh, i hope you guys can remember that word uh, so topple means jab aap gir jate hain niche chalte chalte okay so it's an honest will be fall, tumble, overturn, overbalance, stumble, fall down. All these are very simple words. Uh, but topple is a very good word uh, uh, as uh, uh, exams perspective. Endurance would be uprise, ascend, upsurge, levitation, spurt. Okay. So the example is the phone company has toppled its local competition. Okay. So there's a phone company who has. <coughs> top world it's local uh, local competition competition it may it might lose lost the competition okay the next word is vandalism so this is a very good word uh, f uh, for obviously uh, we can see activities related to this word all over the this world word all over the world so it means willful or malicious destruction or defacement of public or private property. So whenever you see that there is a, a, a riots going on regarding reservation or uh, uh, Baba Ram Rahim, okay, I don't follow these kinds of people actually. So people, people, uh, people, people usually burn uh, things, you know, cars or damaged properties, uh, they spread destruction uh, to show their, uh, uh, to, show, to express their anger. So you can use this word vandalism for these words. So, Jan Bujkariya Durbhavna 
पूर्ण विनाश करना सो आई डोंट नो वाई पीपल डू दीज थिंग्स बिकॉज दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी वेरी सिली एब्जर्ड ओके वट एवर सो सीनोम्स वुड बी डिस्ट्रक्शन होली गैनिज्म डिवेस्टेशन बारबेरिज्म सेबोटैज सेबोटैज इज अ वेरी गुड वर्ड एट्रॉसिटी ओके सो यू कैन यूज दिस वर्ड वेन एवर यू सो वेन एवर यू इन फ्यूचर इफ यू सी एनी एक्टिविटीज रिलेटेड टू दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज यू कैन यूज दिस वर्ड दिस वर्ड फॉर दैट ओके स्पेशली फॉर राइट्स एंड ऑल इन पॉलिटिक्स ऑल्सो so the antonyms would be erection fabrication preservation obviously if you and when, when you are destroying things you can use vandalism there but if you are preserving things you can use fabrication salvage protection okay salvage for that for example a group of teens broke into the public library and tore the pages off from hundred of books in a terrible Uh, in a terrible act of vandalism okay so i hope you guys can interpret the meaning of this uh, sentence let's go to the next word the next word is despondent so as you can see in the picture there is a person who is showing uh, extreme discouragement he is very upset he is in depression now i don't know what's wrong with this person so whenever you show extreme discouragement whenever you are very de- uh, depressed or upset uh, about something you can use this word despondent for that okay so antonyms would be hopeful cheerful blissful be uh, buoyant uh, jubilant glad so when you are, so if you are happy you are not despondent when you are despondent you are not happy is as easy as that as simple as that sorry so for example whenever i feel despondent i call my friends to make me smile smile okay it's a very basic example uh, but very good word so the next word is chastise so to criticize someone harshly for doing something wrong okay so you have a friend who has done something mis- miserably miserable so you call the you call your friend and you uh, tell him that uh, uh, in a very harsh manner harsh tone that you have done, done something wrong and you should correct your mistake so you can use this word chastise for that for hindi guys phatkar lagana ninda karna okay obviously to criticize someone the synonyms would be uh, reprimand scold objurgate castigate chide rebuke okay a reprimand is a very good, good word objurgate is also very good word uh, antonyms would be praise compliment glorify extol acclaim okay so example would be because of my doc- because my doctor is a kind of kind man he tries not to chastise me too harshly uh, about my unhealthy unhealthy habits so there is a doctor who is very kind man kind to his patients so he never chastises his patients Uh, he always uh, advise him advise the, uh, his patients in a very calm manner okay the next word is salutary so producing a beneficial effect labdhayak so synonyms would be salubrious uh, beneficial restorative effective propitious uh, propitious okay labdhayak so uh, uh, you can see in this picture there is a uh, i think it's yeah it's vegetables and juice juice and also the, these are very beneficial for your health so you can use this word salutary for these for things which are very beneficial to you okay so antonyms would be detrimental benef bane fail noxious maleficent can care so obviously things which are not beneficial for you you cannot use this word for that but if things which are good for you okay which you can uh, get benefits from so you can use this word salutary for that for example the board hopes the merger of two companies will have salutary effect that will leave all the shareholders happy okay so i can uh, imagine you can interpret the meaning of this example of your own so let's go to the next word 
which is like comment subscribe and share so please like comment and do subscribe and share my videos so that it can benefit most of the people like you guys as there are many people who don't who don't afford a coaching and also these videos might be very beneficial for those guys so i would appreciate if you do that thank you very much so after subscribing to my channel the next word is belligerence okay so its meaning is an aggressive or truculent attitude atmosphere or deposition so for hindi akrama ke yudrat vihar so as you can see in the picture there is a man who is very angry and he is shouting uh, to the on the other man other person and the other person is seems to be very calm so okay so belligerence means an aggressive behavior okay a behavior which is very aggressive and harsh behavior when you are angry you show these kind of behavior okay so synonyms would be aggressiveness assertiveness defiance uh, pugnacity uh, pugnacity truculence okay so antonyms would be non aggression pacifism amnity clemency continence placeability so obviously when you are calm you are not angry you are not showing your aggressiveness but you are when you are angry you are not calm that means you are showing your aggressive attitude a uh, very good example kim jong un's belligerence has led to a war of words between a regime and us president donald trump so you uh, i hope you know the uh, meaning of this sentence you can refer to uh, this example very uh, A very good example. So there is a person who is no, who is who is the uh, leader of uh, North Korea. So he is not so good because he always show his aggressive uh, attitude towards uh, people. So it's a very good example, but a very or an end a very good word. You can use this word instead of normal word like aggressive and. Uh, um angry nature i i have heard i have heard people saying that he he is he has a very angry nature instead of this he can use the this word belligerence for that the next word is enfranchise okay so to set free or liberate mukt karna swatantra ho jana obviously as you can see in this picture there is a person who oh he seems to be very happy because he is free now okay so obviously when you get when you set free when you are free from something when you are liberate you can use this this word and franchise for that instead of using normal uh, words okay synonyms would be emancipate liberate set free release and fr- franchise or decenter all okay all these are very good word but uh, emancipate and uh, uh, decenter all these two words are very important including this enfranchise infran- uh, infran- of obviously so the for example is uh, with just a few more signatures the corporate office with will enfranchise the operational rights of one of its entities to your partnership a very good and very simple example Uh, and don't would be in slave subjugate all this train okay uh, so when you are working for for some uh, uh, some person you are working as a slave so you are not free so you cannot use in franchise for that but you are free when when you can do anything like we the people of india we are free so we can use this word in franchise for ourselves okay so the next word is dissent title so it means to deprive of title claim or right hak save vanchit karna okay so uh, you went to a uh, court and you said that this particular stuff is my right and the court says that no you this is not and get lost from here okay so this means that uh, you had right uh, on on that particular thing but Uh, now you can not show your um, you cannot claim for that okay so this you can use this word uh, for that decent title title so synonyms would be synonyms would be disqualify brief deprive incapacitate 
डिस इनेबल ओके एंट्रेंस टू डी बेस्ट ऑफ इम पावर ग्रांड कंफर फर्निश एंड यू सो वेन यू कैन क्लेम यूर राइट्स यू कैन नॉट यूज दिस वर्ड फॉर दैट बट यू कैन नॉट क्लेम यूर राइट्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हैविंग दोज राइट्स यू कैन यूज दिस वर्ड डिस एंटाइटल फॉर दैट ओके द लास्ट वर्ड ए प्लीज सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू सो द लास्ट वर्ड इज इन सेंडेरी ओके दिस इज अ वेरी गुड वर्ड आई या आई सॉ दिस वर्ड वेन आई वॉज वेन इन द मॉर्निंग वेन आई वॉज प्रिपेरिंग फॉर माई नेक्स्ट एग्जाम सो दिस वर्ड वॉज देर इन माई बुक सो इट मीन्स टेंडिंग टू स्टर अप कंफ्लिक्ट उत्तेजक विद्रोहत्मक अगल आग लगाओ ओके ऑब्वियसली दिस अ वेरी दिस हिंदी वर्ड इज़ वेरी गुड एक्चुअली आग लगाओ सो आई हैव यू मस्ट हैव मैनी पीपल हु यू कैन रेफर दिस दिस वर्ड फॉर दैम सो इट मीन्स एगिटेट एजिटेटर और एगिटेटर फॉर्मेंटर रेबल लॉज इंस्टिगेटर सो दिस यू मस्ट हैव सीन पीपल हु इंस्टिगेट अदर पीपल्स और प्रोवोक अदर पीपल्स बाई they have this kind of behavior child child uh, childhood behavior and childish behavior okay so they find it funny when they provoke other people so you can use this word incendiary for for uh, for those people so antonyms would be peacemaker reconciler uniter uh, conciliator conciliatory okay examples would be if the reporter didn't mean to cause such an uproar among the public he shouldn't have written such an incendiary article about the city leaders uh, so let me tell you the meaning of this example so there's a reporter who has uh, who have written some article on a, on a particular on some leaders which are incendiary incendiary okay these articles were not in favor of those leaders so so when the reporter came to the person and said uh, asked him to, uh, why you have written this kind of full articles so he said this it was i didn't mean to provoke or cause or cause an uproar among the public it was just an article so uh, the people get to know about these leaders okay so you can use this word it's a very good word for exams perspective so thank you very much for watching this lesson please do sus- subscribe and share and like uh, and motivate me thank you very much have a nice day